traders, Anthony here. I'm looking at the US 30, the uh, Dow, Dow Jones. So what we've got, we've got this range, Asian session range. You can see that running through here. We're trading into the London Open shortly. This blue line is the London Open. And then we got this orange line is the Asia close. And then later on, we got uh, the New York Open, the white one. So what I've done here, I've just marked up the weekly open. That's this orange dotted line. I'm marking that from this is a this charts in New York time zone if I go to the settings see I've set this to New York so from midnight Sunday night this white line here we're just uh, ranging here at the moment now here's the thing with this I'm looking for a trade opportunity what we'll do actually we'll just go out to just want to go out to the weekly chart and then I'll work my way down the time frames and show you what I've got drawn up here have a look at this on the weekly here's the thing Notice this. So what I've done is I've picked up the high and low of this green candle here on the weekly. I've traded up into this and rejected off here. So my question is, do we set up here for a, uh, a weekly green or a red candle? It could trade in either direction. It could continue pushing up or it could pull back before we see any more upside. What I tend to do with this is I'll be watching this on Monday. For example, have a look at this green candle here this guy we've got this red candle next to it okay red candle opens closes down here see how this green candle opened here but look what we got under it that wick so the thing that i'm looking for early in the week is a stop run okay, against the direction in which smart money intends to take it right a stop run trades south traps short traders in takes out stops and then they have this bullish candle for the week. Right. So I'm looking for a similar setup to get me in early and to see if we can, I mean, for example, if this is going to be a red candle this coming week, right? Just hypothetically. Well, what I would like to see early in the week, let's just draw it out very, very quickly. So I would like to see a red candle here for the week. And early in the week, see, see how we've just kicked off here. I want to see it spike up into here take out stops and then roll over and give us that for the week bearish candle that's what i would like to see so what we do is jump in early on in in the piece and uh, that is a nice outcome for the rest of the week well, the first thing i do is establish which way i think this is going to be trading for the week and i'm thinking it could spike up and then we trade south that's what what's going on in my head so with that in mind i've marked up this weekly distribution level and then down on the daily time frame by the way guys click the link below and jump on board our uh, telegram group i'd love to see you in there okay so the markups on the chart now you see this back in here we've got this bearish break of uh, structure here let's just have a look at this with, with a fibonacci if we pull the fib from the high of this daily distribution down to the low given that this time frame is bearish see the pull back into the yellow zone 61.8 to 7.86 i mean that's that's an ideal entry point for short on this time frame now having a look at it on the uh, on the weekly this could trade in either direction okay this could continue on up we don't know yet but i'm just looking for an opportunity an intraday tr opportunity for the week so we've got this 61.8 now i've marked up see this yellow dashed line this is current weekly open as i mentioned uh, a little bit earlier with these candles like a weekly candle for example uh, we'll just do that wick up and below all right well, let's just call that our candle see see this weekly open all right so a bearish weekly candle there's your bearish weekly open then it spikes up on monday tuesday whatever takes out stops and then we get that so i would like to see that happen here so I'm, what i'm waiting for is to see which way this is going to spike early in the week to take out stops so if it spikes south that could be setting up for a bullish week if it spikes north it could be setting up for a bearish week i hope that makes sense with that in mind you want to watch how it trades around the weekly open so let's let's look at it from this perspective let's just consider if we get this it spikes up what you want to see is the trade back down through the weekly open and then the rejection you want to see it spike up trade back crack it and then reject here and i think that on the lower time frame look for any sign that this is re rejecting if it holds here and then we see it start to form 
lower highs and lower lows here, that's the time to get involved. Stops above. Now we've got this daily level. And hopefully this gives us a, uh, you know, a multi-day trade, intraday trade through the week. You know, and then, I mean, if all, you've always got to consider that the currencies are going to follow suit. So it'll give us a, uh, a euro dollar opportunity or a pound dollar opportunity. OK, so watch the dollar pairs. So everything kind of hinges off the stock markets. Okay, so anyway, coming back to this, that's kind of what I'm looking at. By the way, guys, make sure you jump on board our Telegram group. It's uh, link is below. Now, coming down to a 4H, I'll show you what I've got marked up here and my plan of attack. So on the four-hour time frame, you can see what we've got here. Look at this, break of structure, bearish break of structure. Lower, low, lower high, lower, low. If that holds here. Maybe it pushes up a little further, you know, lower high, that would be nice. Okay, so this could be shaping up, possibly, remain to be seen. But, I mean, we're starting to see a bit of a channel here. That's why I'm thinking this could be shaping up for a bearish week. If it does shape up and we do get an opportunity, this is going to be a target area here and another target area around here. Just looking back, I'm just picking up these balance, balance areas back in here and then down in here. All right, so there's three targets there we could consider. What else? Yeah, we go down to a 15 minute. Now this is back to where we started off. So Asia session, we can see this is just ranging now, Asia session range. We've got this blue line is the London Open. And uh, so let's just see how it, how it kind of, what, what it does around here. Today's Monday, I mean, so who knows? I mean, it, it could do that. I don't know. But I really want to see it spike up into here somehow. And then maybe Tuesday, it, you know, it, it sort of, it gives us the opportunity and it fails under here, something like that. So just watch how this trades on Monday. I'm looking for that, the spike up, take out liquidity and then that, you know, I mean, that would be nice. Can it trade the other way? It, it spikes down and then we get a bullish? Yeah, absolutely it can. So the idea is just to watch it around the weekly open first, uh, you know, early in the week and then let it let the market invite you in. Okay, guys, I think uh, I've covered what I wanted to cover in this video. That's it. All right, guys, with that, jump on board. Links below. Hope you have a great day. Safe trading and uh, see you in the next video.